play an important role in the lives of humans and wildlife. They improve our health and memory, clean the air, provide food and habitat, and increase real estate value. They also reduce flooding and improve water quality. But did you know that because of these benefits, Pennsylvania's forests also have a very positive impact on Pennsylvania's economy? Hi, I'm Marcy Mowry, president of the Pennsylvania Parks and Forest Foundation. All living beings depend on clean water for survival. But did you know clean water plays a massive role in one of Pennsylvania's top growing industries, the craft beverage industry? According to the Brewers Association, in 2021, Pennsylvania's breweries have brought in more than $5.5 million to the economy. With over 350 breweries, Pennsylvania ranks only second to California and has produced over 3 million barrels of craft beer. The Visit PA website states that Pennsylvania also ranks fifth in the nation for wine production, with over 300 wineries and 2 million gallons of wine produced each year. Lastly, Pennsylvania ranks 13th for cider production and brought in an estimated $25 million in revenue through its distilleries. Craft and commercial soda production also exists in the Commonwealth. So how important is water quality to craft beverage making? We talked to some people in the industry. Got a mean boil. Brewers obsess about their the water quality. Clean water really is everything. You know, it's the fundamental basis uh, that makes up that makes up beer. So having clean water, uh, not just because it's going into your product, but also for the cleaning aspects and sanitization aspects in brewing, uh, means a lot to us. Water is kind of like the backbone to making really fantastic beer. But basically, all the piping that you're seeing right up here is used specifically to transfer water into our brewing tanks. We are literally taking water and steeping uh, cracked malted barley in it to create the work. So that itself is the, the liquid that then becomes beer. Water as an ingredient, it's about 84 to 85% water. I would argue that most beverages that you consume are primarily consumed water or comprised water. If you think about like soda, for instance, right? Soda is, is just carbonated water with flavoring. You know, wine has water in it, it's watered back. This is where we have that hot liquor. So that's where we get our water in and we check the mineral content, the pH, if we need to make an adjustment, we do there based on whatever beer we're brewing. So coming in, we're on a public water source here, so they do a very good job at maintaining the quality as it comes in. We filter our water through a charcoal filter. That's just to remove those chlorines or maybe some organics that might be in there that we don't want to carry through into the beer. So those minerals in the water are almost like, like salt, so you could look at it like, like uh, seasoning for beer. We chose Williamsport for a number of reasons, and one of the reasons was the water quality. We're in a valley right here, so surrounding us is a, a number of uh, state-owned parks and forests. We know that longevity of those forests, the amount of old-growth trees and uh, riparian forests, so the stream beds, is extremely important to uh, filtering the surface water runoff, which eventually gets to us. I mean, it all, it's not a joke when we say it all rolls downhill. So. <laughs> Forests are excellent for water quality. When studied, watersheds with less forest cover tend to have worse water quality, whereas watersheds with a higher forest cover tend to have the best water quality. Pennsylvania does have a very impressive forest network. We have 20 forest districts across Pennsylvania and a lot of forests that provide great opportunities, not just for water quality improvement and conservation, but for recreation, hunting, fishing, and enjoyment otherwise. Forests help provide a way for rainwater to recharge aquifers underground, which we use for public water resources, for wells. Forests also protect our streams. They provide shade. Shade to water is also very important because it keeps that water cool and stream life can't live if the water gets too hot. The benefit of a riparian forest buffer is it helps protect streams and water bodies that they are next to from any kind of pollution that happens upwind. Human activity causes pollution. It's not something we can really avoid. Having a riparian forest buffer to stay a strip, usually at least 35 feet wide, wider is better, next to a stream will protect that stream from any other human activity happening upland. Trees are about the best land use that you can have around um, a protected reservoir. Every day, Capital Region Water provides clean drinking water to over 60,000 residents and businesses in the city of Harrisburg and the surrounding municipalities. 
The water source for Capital Region Water is the Dehart Dam. The area that surrounds the reservoir is about 7,500 acres of forested land, and the reservoir itself is about 600 acres. So the forested hills that surround the reservoir uh, act as a sponge and help ensure that pollutants aren't washed into the reservoir and protect the high quality uh, of this source for Capital Region Water. It also acts to stabilize uh, the surrounding shoreline to reduce erosion and runoff um, of sediment and other pollutants. Because the reservoir is so secluded and protected uh, by the forested land around it, we have a very low intensive treatment process. If we had a drinking water source that was a river source, the, the amount that it takes to treat that water, it, it's more costly, it's more labor intensive, it's more energy intensive. If we did not have this reservoir um, and uh, required more intensive uh, treatment, we would be spending tens of thousands of dollars more um, and maybe even over $100,000 more a year on that treatment process. The biggest takeaway is that forests are extremely critical if we want to have clean water. If we plant forests where forests can do the most good and protect streams and rivers and other water bodies, we will be doing a great thing for all Pennsylvanians. We really would love for our customers to, to be more conscientious about their own community and about their own neighborhood. Your everyday activities is just as important uh, to protecting water quality as what we do at the source. Mere enthusiasts absolutely should care about our state forests and, and parks. The less that has to be done when we're making a beer to the water, the better. Being aware of where your water comes from and the things that are around it, you know, we gotta all protect those areas. Let's not dump on lands, let's not litter, let's, let's monitor our wastewater, let's try to, to make environmentally conscious decisions so that we all can have the, the freshest drinking water for, for not only for us, but for, for future generations. There are nearly 17 million acres of forest in Pennsylvania, of which 2.2 million acres is state forest. Data supports the fact that forest ecosystems improve water quality. Visit paparksandforest.org and join our Protect Our Parks and Forest initiative. You can also become a member, join a friends group, and learn how you can take actionable steps that leave a lasting impact. Lastly, don't forget to spend some time enjoying the beauty that is your state parks and forests.